right away. Away. Go. I'll take you down. Understood. Easy. Long live the Empire! I've got it. I understand. to be the Go. right position. Be gone with you. 
you. On my way. Go. Next oh, time, on my way. You thought I was I just a gravy, huh? Understood. Capture successful. Oh. Anyway. I'm sorry. I.
we have received an order from Lord Councillor Kimball. The Westfield town of Yulden has been overrun with violence and theft. Our task is to restore order. It seems that mercenaries are to blame, many having lost their patrons in the faction conflict. I have certainly heard tales of mercenaries left bereft by the passing of their noble masters. I wouldn't be surprised if Archbishop Joshua were fanning the flames behind the scenes. <clears throat> Will the princes stop at nothing to win the throne? Regardless, our orders are clear. Quinn, try to keep casualties to a minimum. I make no promises. Quinn! Member of Victor's faction will die. Round up the starish dogs and hang them high. So much hatred and lawlessness. All because. Enough of this. We must be united against the Empire. United? <clears throat> Very well. We shall all be united. Under Victor! That's not... Forget it. There's nothing you can say to change their minds. I thought the Alliance was bad, but this... <sighs> I suppose this is what war does to a country. Enough of the philosophizing. We need to focus on the situation at hand. looks to be the right position. Understood. Right away. Be gone with you. Yes, that looks to be the right position. with you. 
Next target. I understand. Target in the I got it. This will serve as a station. Go. On my way. I understand. position. to be the right position. Be gone with you. I'm off at once. Understood. Go. I'll show you. deal with the situation here, it won't solve the deeper problem. If only Prince Ivangar were alive. Hmm. Looks to be the right position. I'll show you. I'll show you. On my way. Here I go. Be gone with you. Away. Easy. Ah! On 
my way. Be gone with you. Understood. I understand. Found one. On my way. Go. Not bad. A scratch. On my way. Embrace death. Here I go. I have achieved a greater grasp of my heart. If this continues, the kingdom will crumble. Something must be done. Thank you for agreeing to meet me. What I'm about to tell you must be kept secret, at least until the time is right. Thus far, you have all known me as Frederick Lester, but this is not my real name. I am Levantia Shatham, fourth son of the late Rhaegal Shatham. Huh? He can't be. F -f Fritz? A prince? Uh, is this really true, Andreas? Let him explain. I have kept quiet all this time because I thought one fewer prince would make life easier. D does this mean... I had always thought that Prince Levantia had been assassinated when he was a child. The one who was killed that day was Frederick Leicestershire, a boy of my age from House Leicester. I don't believe it. How can you prove that this is true? Look at my arm. This mark only appears on members of the Shatham family. This proves my lineage. That's the mark of the blessed. We all bore witness to the destruction that beset Yeldon. I cannot abide this carnage any longer. It is time to fulfill my destiny as the true royal heir. Therefore, to right this kingdom's wicked path, I ask you all to lend me your strength. What? Tell that's my son. How can you believe it? Such a threat. The royalty is one creepy You're smart. You're really a prince. Please stop that. I'll have no part in it. I'm leaving. I've finally got a glimpse at your true intentions, Rias, and I for one shall not be caught up in it all. Quinn! The rest of you might want to consider following my lead. Rias, is this really what you want? The Blue Foxes succeed in calming the situation in Yulden, but violent conflict continues to rage throughout Dealfield. Meanwhile, Archbishop Joshua deploys his fiercely loyal Templar Knights to Turnberry Meadows. Lord Kimball's troops march there to meet them, and the two factions confront each other head on. Elsewhere, the Blue Foxes are called to a meeting where Frederick reveals himself to be Prince Levantia to the shock of the unit. Unwilling to support Frederick's bid for the throne, 
Walter Quinn leaves the unit. With the factional battle imminent, the Blue Foxes receive an order to eliminate the Archbishop. <sighs> I. Hmm. Hmm. However... Hmm. What's that? I cannot agree. I. Sorry. Ah. <sighs> Mm-hmm. Hmm. I cannot agree. Hmm. However... However... Mm-hmm. <sighs> Enough. Sorry. Uh, hmm. Ugh. What's the matter, Estelle? I've come a long way since I first met you. Haven't I, Andreas? Well... Yes, of course. There are few magickers in the unit who could claim to rival you. I had doubts about your mentality when you first joined, but those have since been dispelled. <laughs> exactly. Why do you ask? Captain's always treating me like a child, reminding me to pack my food before setting out telling me not to go too far out on the front lines. She's so overprotective. You've known each other a long time, haven't you? If she met you when you were a child, I can see how she might still see you that way. But now I'm a soldier, and I can protect her. Ah, I see how it is. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, nothing. Ignore me. Hey, come on, what kind of ideas are you getting? It's not like that, you're barking up the wrong tree. Don't worry. I won't tell. You won't? Uh, okay. Something feels off lately. Don't you think, Rius? Off? What do you mean? The mood among the blue foxes. Everyone is so uptight. My sense of rage under the surface. We've grown bigger, more prestigious. We ought to be better off than before. But for some reason, I'm feeling constantly on edge. Do you get that too? The circumstances are hardly fit for relaxation, given that we face such formidable foes. Besides, we're a group of fighters. This isn't supposed to be a place of tranquility. I know that, but back when we were founded, well, it just seemed that everyone was much more laid back and joyful. 
Listen, Izzy. Our battles are only going to become more difficult. I thought we could count on you. But if you don't like the way the units... Don't you dare finish that sentence, Rius. I've been with you from the start, and I have my pride as a mercenary and as a swordswoman. I'm sticking with you in Fred till the end, until I breathe my last breath. Got it? And what if you had to pick between us? Huh? Nothing. Forget about it. What is it, Zorowak? I was just thinking of the day when you and Fred first came to me. One minute you were on my doorstep, famished and bloodied. The next you were declaring your intention to fight as mercenaries. It was Fred's father, Arlim, who told us to go to you. He said you were old friends. The journey nearly killed us many times over. Yes, you seemed ready to fall over at any moment but you had a fire in your eyes. Fred more than I, to be sure. His family had just been murdered after all. Nay, I saw more fire in you. Really? Neither rage nor obsession, but a cool, unshakable, unwavering spirit. And it seems to have persisted to this day. What are you trying to say, Zorowak? I'm just glad you'll have my back, that's all. Is that so? Iska, we must prepare to deploy. There are more rioters. What is their complaint this time? They claim to be clamoring for democracy, though perhaps that is merely a pretext. According to our scouts, all that is really going on is the usual looting. More violence without justification, then. Very well. I'll get ready. I just hope you aren't twisting the scouts' words for your own ends. Go and see for yourself. I'm sure you'll be proved right. You always are.